Boom! You guys, what is good? I hope you guys are all doing well, enjoying life, and yes, smashing your projects. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be doing a little tutorial in Lightroom, and I'm gonna be showing you guys my process when I add a preset to a photo. A lot of you guys messaged me in the comments asking, man, this traffic. A lot of you guys messaged me in the comments in my videos, and you guys will ask me when you apply presets, my photos do not look like yours. They are not supposed to. Basically, when you add a preset, it is the base foundation of a picture, and then evolving from there. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you had a good summer. Still haven't smashed it, smash the like. Boom. Let's get into the tutorial. Let's deal with the problem. Someone please send me a speech therapist. The preset that I used originally for this picture was Golden Dream. The color is already done, but it is dark. So even with my pictures here, I can't add the presets straight away and expect them to look like they do when I do the final edit on YouTube or on Instagram. So let's just go from the top and adjust some things. So maybe the highlights up a little bit more, the exposure up a little bit more as well maybe about there if you want to see the before and after you guys can always click y to see where we are all of this here is fine for me maybe i'll bring the saturation down just a little bit here you guys can see as well with the presets i've already adjusted all of these here with the tone curve to how i had them when i made the preset and i'm going to come down here to the hue sliders and with the green instead of having it's really gold i'm going to bring it just into the greens a little bit more you guys can see it changes so maybe just about there so again the before and after but basically done no the next thing i can do is come here to masks and hit brush let's make this a bit smaller and here i'm just going to brighten it up before after then something else i'm going to do is do the eyes Oh, I forgot to set the timer. Next picture. Just make them a little brighter. Let's add some more saturation for the overall look and increase the sharpness. Okay, and then next I'm gonna come here and just do a few more just in like the really bright areas like this. Come again, bring it up. Maybe add a little bit more here. A little more saturation here and then also then the sh increase the sharpness. Okay, now the next thing we can do, create another mask just for the skin to make it a little bit softer. Select people, Lightroom has made this so easy. It can't, we, guys, we are so lucky as photographers, it can't actually get any easier these days. The next thing, facial skin, create mask. And I'm just gonna bring the texture down a little bit, maybe around about 20. And again, guys, just keep checking your before and after. Uh, we have some grain in there. The colors, I'm gonna leave them how they are. The blue, this is if you want it to be more like aqua, check it out. You can like move this slider up and down, but I'm gonna keep it like this where it was. And then I'll just bring the blacks down ever so slightly just to make her a pop again. That's it, boom, picture number one. one. Happy, let's do the second one. This time I'm actually gonna set a timer. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do right away is crop this because that's not the best composition. So loose. Same again, we're gonna use Golden Dream. As you guys can see straight away, it's super dark. So if I just added that and then messaged myself and was like, Brad, your presets are not working, you know, I understand, but it's not the end. So I'm gonna bring the highlights up a little bit, come here to exposure, bring that up. Now you guys can see in the back, it's quite bright as well. So there are a few things we can do. We can come here to brush, you have a gradient, or we can hit background background bring the highlights down again just a little bit but maybe exposure up there's usually something i do bring the highlights down and exposure higher then some masks in here this one again i feel like the orange is a little bit maybe overpowering so i'm going to bring the orange down just a little bit and the same with the blue maybe make give it more of a blue look let's let's put some glow in there this one here, I'm just moving the temperature slider, guys, so you can see cold or warmer to give it, it all kind of looks, it's the same vibe, so maybe saturation up a tiny bit, maybe dehaze as well, just to give it this foggier look. In the tone curves, I'm gonna actually, say, bring the shadows up a little bit, and then over here, bring the blacks down. Before and after, clicking Y, it really looks so much better. 
Let's do this part here with the face. Look, I forgot right now we're under two minutes. If I wasn't talking, this would have been way faster. Okay, boom. But the next thing, then we're gonna go here to the select people, person one, facial skin, create mask. Okay, and bring the texture down again. Oh, we need the eyes, guys. Need the eyes. Let's get something in here. Please let me know, guys, if this is helpful. This is just responding to your comments when you guys ask me why they don't look the same and this is the reason why so yes today has been a very productive morning smashed the gym sent photos to clients going hard what about you guys what are your plans today let me know in the comments hope you guys had a good summer right now i'm getting ready for a very busy photography season because usually for me in barcelona november and december are quite busy months in other countries, no, it's usually like summer and that, but summer here is kind of like a dead month for me. And that is because the country is on fire. Like after July and August, people are hot. We're all sweating like pigs. We cannot be doing photo shoots. Or otherwise they're very early in the morning. That's it guys. I might even just bring the highlights down a little bit more and I'm gonna add some, some more grain. Usually this time is a proposal time for me. This is when people are proposing. I was just in Ibiza shooting a wedding, which I'll have some of that content for you guys soon. That's it guys, check out the before and after. This is what it looked like when I first applied it, super dark. Then we just made it brighter and with the color. And then boom, like that's what I said. Now I would go usually into Photoshop and just take out anything in the background that I don't want or anything on the skin, maybe these little bumps or something but that's really it okay guys so that is it as you can see it is a very simple you don't need to do a lot but you do need to do some things once you apply a preset as you saw even with my pictures not a lot the base foundation is there the color is there just adjust a few things and then boom your preset is done i will leave the link in the description for my presets and if you guys have any questions please drop a comment even if you don't have any questions drop a comment and if you don't feel like dropping a comment also drop a comment Thank you so much guys for watching, love you, stay creative and I will see you guys in the next video.